Scorpio. Okay. The underlying energy, though, is the Four of Wands. Ooh. Scorpio. Oh, my goodness. Uh, underneath here is the world, though. That's weird. Why is this upside down? Well, that means that the rest of my... Because the rest of my deck is right side up. Um, okay. Uh, but that one was weirdly upside down. I don't read reversals, but usually that talks about unfinished business when it comes up reverse like that, y'all. Okay, when it comes up reverse, it's usually unfinished business that you may be dealing with. But, um... I read them right side up, guys. I don't read reversals, but the four of wands in the four of wands come up with the world. That means that there is an ending of a cycle that's come up, but you've you know there is a place of stability here. You're like you've gotten to a really good place. It's nice. It's not bad, um, and it's something that's worth celebrating. Now, what you've got here in your current state of being is the you know the five of swords. So this is almost like a very sacrificial sort of energy ruthless can get whatever you want there could be somebody that's around you that's very uh, prone to sabotaging themselves so you're kind of having to deal with them or you do you're, you know you're dealing with some sort of energy here that talks about getting whatever it is that you want or getting whatever it is that you f that you know that feels like it's a victory a necessary victory but it may not feel very good in regards to obtaining this victory now the five of swords also talks about petty arguments and things like that most importantly this could talk about really just like um, you know, sacrifice, right? What do you have to compromise? You know, what is the what is the what is the consequence of you know doing something at all costs? You know what I'm saying? So this is the kind of ruthless, hardcore energy. But where where you guys want to be in your love lives is hella in love. You have the King of Cups coming up in here, and this is a person that feels so in love, so uh is engulfed in that love that love energy. Okay, super supportive. Uh, someone that is, you know, the ideal lover here because the King of Cups comes up. This is also your card, Scorpio, because you are a fixed sign. So this may be that you want to feel very in love. You want to feel romantic. You want to be romantic with your partner. And I think the reason why, well, the thing is, the thing that's keeping you potentially from being the King of Cups right now, or, or some sort, is the Queen of Cups. Now, I don't know if this is, could be an ideal person, ideal lover. This could also indicate that this person is your better half, that this person exists. And I want to say this person could be manipulative. I don't know if this person is. I feel like this person, um, excuse me, whoa. I think, I don't think this person is manipulative at all. I do get this feeling though that this person is very much in love too and very emotionally. She's very, as, she's just as emotionally vulnerable as you are. Now, I'm not talking to just the guys here. This could be, you know, this could be another, you know, this could be whoever it, this person is in your life. But I feel like this person almost kind of calms you down. That's what it looks like. This person kind of evens you out, mellows you out, chills you out. Because here you got this ruthless, I gotta do anything I absolutely can energy. And then the king of, you know, king of cups is your goal. But the thing that's keeping you, you know, from being the king of cups or keeping, or keeping you... Mm. It's interesting. I, I don't. This person can mail you out, but I don't think you. I don't think this person is here yet. I feel like this person is what you're trying to fight for, what you're going after. Okay. Wow. I mean, I, I mean literally. Um, Leo, Cancer, and I believe um, Leo and Virgo actually have had the world behind them. I think Cancer did too, but I'm not 100 percent sure. That's crazy, though the world so something you know something you might have ended the cycle you guys could be newly in a relationship but this person may be just like so like they make you feel so much love that you're willing to do anything and everything you can to make sure you can maintain that because you have commitment here in the past commitment for some of you guys you guys could have gotten married all right you guys could have gotten married because um, you have the lovers here and the four of wands and then the higher friend which is commitment okay so there is some stuff. Uh, for those of you that's not married, then you just guys have found someone that is that fits you, that you feel fits perfectly. Now this could be that for those of you that are single, that you you know you're not resting until you find the person that really makes you feel like the King of Cups, which is someone that's emotional, someone that's you know that feels intense emotion, someone that feels all the love, support. You know what I'm saying? Um, very nurturing and very soothing energy. And I feel like it's because you want commitment. You want some sort of stability. You want to feel like someone has your back at all times. Um, but it's, but for those of you that are in a relationship, this person you've committed to already, the higher friends comes up. There could be an age difference with this individual as well. Um, but 
I do get this feeling that this person definitely defies all of the, you know, or they st either they're in the limits that you have for a relationship or that you've just committed to this individual. You're committed to yourself to a relationship with this person that you feel is just everything that you've been asking for. Or, 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 or is this person everything that you're asking for? Because in your advice, you have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups talks about indecision. Not sure if we you know what cup to take, really. Like, you got a lot of cups in front of you. Like, you're just seeing them. It's the same old, same old. Nothing different. Nothing changes. But then you have the Ace of Cups saying, Here, here's this cup. Here's this new, new, you know, new love. But this person over there, see it? You don't see it. It's right behind him. It's not very obvious. But it's going to require this person to shift his focus in order to notice this cup is even coming out. Because the cups, what are cups? Intuition, feelings, emotions. So whatever his feelings are, it's apathy. Because it's, feel, it's feeling the same old, same old. Nothing really interesting. It's just feeling, feeling absolute blah. If, if, he, if this person in the image you know, shifts his focus from being everything being the same, it ha opens his heart because right now it's really focused and narrowed in on something else. If you open it up, you'll see there's a new cup. There's a new love here. But it's almost like he's so dr like he's tunnel visioning these three of cups, and that's the same thing with the five of swords. It's very tunnel vision kind of energy because you're trying to get to one type of goal. You're trying to get to one area in your life, and it may not be one that exactly you know the path that, you, that, you, that this person may take may not be very satisfactory. Okay. And there may be a lot of doubts, a lot of uncertainty about what he's doing. But at the end of the day, he's going to get whatever he wants at any cost. Oof, excuse me, right here. Okay. A little bit brighter in here, but... Oh, man. All right. So. The sun is coming up in your feelings. So you have clarity in your emotions. You know what you want. You, you can see the path to happiness. You, can, you feel really good. You feel, honestly, emotionally, you have insight on how you feel. The King of Cups knows what he feels at all times. Okay? Knows what he feels. Um, so I don't see... There's nothing There's nothing ever wrong with, with the sun. When the sun comes up, you can never really read this card as a, anything negative. So... You have clarity here. You know what's been going on. You know who you love. Because the King of Cups knows what he wants. And I feel like for those of you that are single, this could be that you have already someone in mind, someone that really clicks with you, someone that you love, you know, more potentially. Okay? But you may be in a commitment with someone else, or maybe this person's in a commitment with someone else. Because the lovers can it has the illusion of distance, right? Being too far away, but you know who you love. Maybe this person is in an isolated cage because the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles, rather, is coming up here, which indicates, you know, being stuck in a gilded cage, being stuck in a place of comfort and lavishness. But the thing here is, especially with this relationship, is that there's not a lot of emotions that are going on here, not a lot of emotional buildup. There's just a lot of extra stuff. There's a lot of things that you can get out of the relationship, like a house, a car, you know, your lavished goods, you know, but then at the end of the day, right, you're taking out to fancy dinners, but you're not, you don't have that person. You don't have that emotional connection. So for those of you in a relationship currently, this may be that you're in a relationship that feels like you have everything, but you're not emotionally happy, or you're not emotion. you don't have anything, you have everything but an emotional connection. But the beautiful thing is, love is on the way with, with in your outcome. Lovers is coming up. Okay. I like this card. Because one is card is card for Gemini. So for those of you that are dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus right now, yep. Somebody's you know there's somebody that's here that's you know that definitely it drives with you. Okay, this is the lovers card coming up. It's beautiful energy. Um But right now you guys may feel like you're still like you're in a world that's you know, you're single. Were you in a relationship where you feel you're single in a relationship? Because the person may not ever be there, but you want the connection. This person may, you know, you're doing everything that you can to make sure that the relationship is maintained at all costs. Probably because you've already went through the world card. You've kind of gone through the nitty gritty of everything. You're, you know, you're not necessarily emotionally romantic. You know, not emotionally romantic. <laughs> you guys are romantic. You guys are not feeling the romance from your out from your partner. You're not feeling that emotional connection from your partner. That's what I'm trying to say. But they're not there. 
That's probably why that's he's the obstacle, or this person is the obstacle, right? He or she, whoever it is, this person is the obstacle because they're not there. You committed to this individual, yes. You want something with this individual. You love them deeply. It's, it, so it says so here. But everything's the same. The new cup is here. But where is this cup? Where is this cup? You don't see it? You're clear? You got... It's, 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 what? Where is it? I feel like it's almost like this four of cups is almost like saying, it's time to make your own cup. Or initiate of some sort. Or even... What's important is it's like shifting your focus. Instead of waiting for a cup to come to you, why not just grab, you know, make your own cup? Because it'll shift your focus of some sort. Let me see what's going on. Why is the, what else, why is the four or so, five, four or so cups coming up in their advice? The Hierophant. The Hierophant's coming up because of the four of swords. Oh no, the Four of Cups is coming up because of the higher friend. What does the higher friend mean? For this commitment, you feel stuck in a commitment, or maybe someone else is in a commitment and they, and you, you want something, you want a connection with somebody that's already in a, in a relationship potentially and they're just not getting back with you or something. Judgment. This is your card, Scorpio call to action of some sort. Some sort of call to action or some sort of decision that needs to be made or some sort of review based off of a, a connection or a commitment um, that this person, you know, some sort of commitment. Maybe you're in a commitment with someone and you don't want to be in this commitment with, anymore, with this person anymore. Maybe this is somebody new, someone that's offering you exactly what you've been looking for all this time and they make you feel happy. But the commitment that you're in, okay, yeah, you made it with the Four of Wands, but Maybe this person is just not for you, right? Maybe this the person that you're currently committed to right now. Maybe this person is just this. This is you know they're not really getting you, giving you what you need. They're making you. They're not. They're not giving you what you need. They're giving you everything else, but they're not giving you what you feel you need, which is emotions. Or maybe there just needs to be more communication in regards to, um, you know, in regards to what you may need. Right, I mean, because it looks like this person. Because how you how you looking at how you looking at your relationship right now? Your hopes and fears is showing the nine of pentacles. You feel alone. You feel isolated, Scorpio. Why is the five of swords coming up? Why is the five of swords coming up? Why is the five of swords coming up in the current situation? Death. The release of something. Shift a shift of a perspective, a shift of something, the, the, the releasing of some sort of way of, of being or thinking to be able to gain more of prosperity. Let's take a look at the whispers of the oracle. I typically do the romance angels first, but no, I've been I've, I'm feeling the whispers of the oracle first, okay. No place like home. And this is talking about take, protecting your home, take, protecting yourself, make, you know, just be coming home to the self, coming home to you, right? And protecting, protecting what is yours, which is either yourself or the, your relationship, right? Working on it and making it strong and making it, making sure that it has all the needs that you're, that you, everything that you need to feel good in your relationship. But it's also talking about no one can love you but um, better than you love yourself. No one can protect you better than you love yourself. You deserve love and it's worth waiting for. It's coming up for you guys too. Wow. Hopefully you guys can see the cards. I know it got super dark in here like all of a sudden. It's like, whoa. Goodness. Trying to cover these cards back, and they just want to fall out of my hands. All right, so you have, yeah, you deserve love, and you have worth waiting for. Man, that is dark. But it's true, you do deserve love. And I feel like this person who you're waiting on 
yeah, they are worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your relationship, or in your love life, rather. And then it says, you deserve love. It says, you deserve, you are lovable. Okay. You may be feeling like you're always fighting to kind of get to some sort, to, to feel committed in a relationship, to keep the balance, or to feel loved or wanted. But perhaps right now, there may not need to be much done. Because the Four of Cups, it's really, the only advice I can give you is shift your focus. For, instead of focusing on what you can do, how about you just allow things to come in? Because the Queen of Cups, she's receptive 100%. She's very, she's like one of the closest cards you can get to High Priestess. And the High Priestess is Yin energy. Perhaps, because Libra got the same sort of message here too. Maybe there's just a lot of stuff that, you, a lot of stuff that you're doing. And it's time to just allow things to come to you. Because if it's worth waiting for and you deserve love, then maybe it's just time to just go back to the self. Love on yourself and allow things to come your way. Allow things, allow love to come to you. As long as you communicate what it is that you need, of course. As long as you communicate what it is that you want. Because death is coming up and talking about a change of, you know, a change, a, a transition. You know, death and rebirth. And there may be just too much that you're doing right now. So maybe there needs to just be a bit of a pullback. Allow things to just be open. Uh, open your heart. Because the Four of Cups, if he would know that the Cups were there if he had his, you know, if he shifted his focus and he didn't think so, focus so hard on those three Cups. So I feel like Scorpio, maybe right now, it's all about receptivity. Making sure you get it back. Make sure you're getting the love back. Make sure you're getting the care back. But also, making sure you're loving yourself too and putting some time in for yourself. You have the lovers in the outcome, so I do see love here. So definitely, there is love. 